Don's very good friend was working with my very good friend um, at the time at the same company and they uh, got to talking and found out that she and I were single and uh, they introduced us. It's as simple as that. I didn't really think he liked me, to tell you the truth. I didn't think he was really that impressed with me. He was very reserved, um, but um, still managed to keep communicating after that. And, yeah. I'm very excited to have this day with all my family and friends and people that love us and support us. It's just super exciting. So, and I can't wait to put this dress on. And so. uh, I love Dawn because she's the most patient person that I know. She doesn't get upset about anything, which is a good person for me to be with. <laughs> we have the same sense of humor. We laugh at the exact same things together, and that is, that is to me, very, very important. We have traveled the world together, and uh, we have absolutely no problems traveling together. Traveling can be very stressful, but for us, it's very easy, and we love, we love to do that. We took a trip to Germany. We traveled to Europe quite often and he had arranged for us to hike to the ruins of a castle in a little fairy tale village called Bacharach. We found the Roman ruins, we sat down and uh, had a beautiful picnic surrounded by nature. There was only one or two people around us, I waited for them to leave. Uh, at, the mo at the moment that they left I asked Dawn to marry me. Didn't even have the chance to say okay when all of a sudden a group of 30 German tourists literally appeared out of nowhere onto our mountain and sat down with us at our table with their big Great Dane and I was just flabbergasted. But then we had fun afterwards getting lost on our way back to our hotel and ended up with a sheep, a field full of sheep and it was wonderful. So, yeah. <laughs> but I, as you know, like, you're my best friend in the whole world and that I'm so happy for you and I love you so much and I don't I don't even have words I'm sorry. <laughs>
I take you, Mike. I take you, Mike. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. For richer and for poor. For richer and poor. Sickness and in health. Sickness and in health. I promise to love and honor you. I promise to love and honor you. Offering my friendship and trust in you. Offering my friendship and trust in you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love and my faithfulness. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we've spoken today. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love and my faithfulness. And my faithfulness. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder of the vows. As a reminder of the vows. We have spoken today. We have spoken today. Perfect. Through the commitment and promises that you have made, it is with these in mind that I now pronounce you husband and wife. No longer simply partners and best friends, you become husband and wife and now seal the agreement with a kiss. And today that kiss is a promise. So you better kiss your bride. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Atigno! She said, I am the maid of honor, <laughs> and I finally know why they call it that, because I've had the utmost honor of being in attendance of probably my favorite wedding I've ever been to. <laughs> oh, I'm probably going to cry, so just, prepare. just be prepared. Okay. <sighs> so one of the things I've always looked forward to about growing up is being able to see my friends get married, and today I got to see the wedding of my best friend, who also happens to be my mom. <laughs> to Mike. Today, you embark on the adventure of being married to my mom, and I hope it is in <laughs> May it be filled with a million more laughs and smiles. Okay. All you need is love. Love is all you need. And I think that the love that you two share is beautiful, and I wish I wish you many happy days together. So now for the part we've all been waiting for, let's raise our glasses to the bride and groom and the wonderful life they will share together as husband and wife. So salute, cheers, chin chin, however you want to say it. <laughs> well, we both had a front row seat to this eight year romance leading up, leading up to this very day and what an honor. And my favorite quote is, you know you're in love when you can't go to sleep. 
because reality is finally better than your dreams. So, raise your drinks. To Dawn and Mike. Dawn and Mike and your and your dreamy life together. That was awesome. Mazel tov. Thank you.